Oh, it's what we're learning now, like 3 AFF. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, you need it to have to be an A-licensed jumper, but until you have your A-license, uh, we've got packers that'll pack for you. Oh, okay. And they are good. Just check your brake lines. That's what they gave me that for? When I got my... Uh, yeah. Yep, that's what that is. The helmet? Yeah. No, no. I got this one. I got my... Dude, I, did I got it for my helmet? I got one I think I got helmet. one for my suit. I think I got one for my suit, too. Oh, liquid sky. Yeah. 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 I'll send one. So this is just a weight to weigh it down while I run these lines. So these parachutes, they're built to open. Um, it's pretty... I mean... You follow the three basic rules, and these things work every time. First rule, slider up. Okay. Make sure this slider is all the way up by the fabric. So we're spreading all cells, counting them? Counting all the no cells. This is a nine cell parachute. So now I'm stretching it out. So I got the nose, so this is the tail. Yeah, all right. This just kind of uh, helps to lay the fabric down. The second important part of the pack job Tension on the lines, clean straight lines down the center, fabric to the outside. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm bringing all the lines so that they're all stacked down the center. And then all the fabric, if you can see down there, is flaked out to the outside. Sliders all the way up and quartered. I want to clean this up. This is just making it a little bit neater. Making sure these pieces of fabric aren't twisted up and going into the lines into these lines. Mm -hmm. okay. So the lines are separate from, from the fabric? Yeah, you want the lines straight down, fabric on the outside. Um, actually, I have a photo right there. All the dots are where the lines connect to the fabric. So what we're doing is bringing all those lines together and pushing all the fabric to the outside. Sure, we have to go 
And the label mm -hmm. is this, the marker, right? Yep, this la warning label marks the center back of the parachute, top back center. the slider the nose and I'm bringing this tail around and I'm going to wrap it just a little bit to keep yeah. covered yeah. okay now I just want to wrap this white cell around the entire pack job we call this cocooning. I'm getting some uh, air out. Um, I'm going to check, make sure this is not a collapsible slide pilot chute. Um, a lot Pocket. of sport rigs will have pilot chutes that will collapse. They have a kill line in here so that once the parachute opens, the line will pull down through here um, and it's attached to the other end of this ball so it'll touch here and the pilot chute won't inflate. Uh, it helps to reduce the drag on the parachute. Um, but just because it's another thing that we have to check for and be aware of. Uh, we don't put those in student parachutes, so yours will always okay. inflate. inflate. Now it's important to keep the tail covering your grommets. You never want to expose your grommets. Because <laughs> it could give you a hard opening. <laughs> See, there you go. You used to that, right? <laughs> This is a very formal, informative video. Play nice, people. <laughs> we make it uh, x-ray, his wife can't hear it. No, most skydivers are pretty dirty-minded people. <laughs> You're going to hear a lot of dirty jokes hanging around this drop zone. You just come where I work, and you'll hear them all, too. <laughs> And there's multiple different ways that people like to pack and fold parachutes. Um, this is the methods that I've... Basically folding it underneath. Yeah. Um, this is a cleaner way to do it. You might see other people do it a different way. That works as well. This one is just a little bit cleaner and neater. So now I'm going to find butt. Yeah. Yeah. What were you just looking for? We're just making sure that it was all centered. Okay. Making Center. sure that these two pieces oh, okay. were touching. Okay. okay. Uh, this is my butt. Okay. I call it the butt. Because if you keep it tight, it yeah. makes these yeah. uh, nice and clean, these okay. folds. Mm -hmm. Use my fist there. So like where I cocooned it in the back, I've got it pinched together here. And I'm not going to let that go. I still haven't let that go since that original cocooning until now. 
So with these folds, I've got it folded in half here, and then I just folded it back over right here. The S fold. Okay, yeah, okay. Exactly. Now I'm gonna straddle it to keep it from going wide on me. Just getting some of Just push everything sort of inwards together. So these, these are the ears. Um, there's no lines on these ears. So what I want to do is, one, I'm going to use two fingers up here to keep that butt pinched together so my steam stay nice and clean and tight. And then I'm just going to take these ears and just fold them under. Take these and just fold them under. Now, so the orientation of the bag, the um, D bag, yeah, the D bag, deployment bag, the openings are to the bottom. Uh, the 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 loopholes. The grommets? Grommet holes. Yeah, the grommets are on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So to get a rubber band that's broken, we gotta replace that. So this is this is the best way to get the rubber bands off without damaging your gear. Um, when I'm in a hurry, sometimes I'll just pull them until they break. Um, well, you, some people use uh, the pull cords. Um, but I, and they'll like kind of friction rub them, but then that can cause damage onto these pieces, so we want to not do that. I'm going to grab a rope band. So, this is the back of the shoe? Uh, yep, that's the back. Okay. This is the tail where it's the tail, yeah, pinched the tail, together yeah. right here. Ooh, Darius, this could very well be your pack job, or you're uh, the one you end up jumping. I, I believe so, hey, yeah. Hey, Darius, fine. <laughs> Which would be pretty cool, you know what's in it. Okay. Right here, hold it up. Bring it back. Making sure the grommets are touching and that they're still kicky. <laughs> About two inches. Um, so thumb wrap. We use a rule of thumb. So I like to make a like kind of a fist with my thumb like that. That's my measuring tool. So your stow should never be longer than that. Okay, so I just see something you did double this. Mm -hmm. Is that standard? Yes. Okay, so on every one? Yes. Okay. So you start with the center grommets. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back and forth, work our way. Um, these should be fairly even, give you more consistent opening. So these are going to be a little messy looking. Uh, it's because they're all different lengths. Yep. Okay, I was just about to ask that question. Yeah, they're 
all different links inside there, so those are going to be a little messy. You're, you're just not going to get those clean, okay. and that's okay. And then from this point, just getting it kind of... Yeah, I hope this is the one you pack because, or the one you get to jump because I just did the brake lines on it so I know it's a good pack job. <laughs> So the closing sequence for the containers, bottom, top, right, left.
Oh, he goes, ah, okay, good. All right, so I was in the restaurant. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we were going to get water there. <laughs> Look this up. That was a water machine. Oh. Yeah, the packing class, that's like another four to six hour class. But that's after your aid. Uh, that's to get your aid. Oh, to get my offer. Yeah. After your aid. So, usually somewhere between 12 and 25 jumps. You want to get that packing class done. <coughs> but give yourself some time to oh, just course, enjoy yeah. solo enjoy status yeah. for a while. Oh, okay. Well, that's how. Good old punch. Little, little massage, little massage, beat her in, make her nice and easy, and pull out nice and easy. And she's ready to send. So it's not dangling. But, you know, if you can ever get it in there. And then even when you do get it in there, it wants to come out. It's not an important thing, but... Are you jumping? Huh? Are you going to jump? Um, I think he's doing a base course. Base jumping? Mm-hmm. Or teaching him how to pack his new base rig. Okay, I give up. <laughs>